Now that we have our app ready to go, we are going to start by creating a very simple form. Now we're not going to do anything data binding with this yet, so Angular 2 doesn't really have any part to do with the form. We're just going to create an Angular 2 component that will hold the form and then we'll display that form so that we can use it in the future. Let's go over to Sublime Text. And here we have our application, Angular 2 Forms is the folder we just created, and we copied everything over from the Angular 2 starter. We'll go ahead and start with a new component, and since we're going to do template and model driven, or also known as reactive is the model driven way, we're going to create a couple different folders. The first one we're going to create is the template folder, and this will hold the template driven way that we're going to do things. And inside of that, we'll create a new file, and we'll do the three files that are needed to create a new component. We're going to need a template form dot component dot ts. New file relative to that, we'll do template form HTML, and the same thing for template form CSS. Let's open up the template form component and let's start creating this out now. We'll do import component from the Angular core. Create the component. Add in the style URLs that we have. and the template URL. And we're using template URL and style URLs instead of template and styles because we're doing external files for these. And last but not least, we'll export class template form component. And right now we won't have anything in there Let's open up template form HTML. And this is where we'll create our form. This is just going to be a very simple form. We'll just use bootstrap classes. If you notice in our index.html, in the CSS section of the head, we already included bootstrap in our uh, Angular 2 starter. So we already have that installed. We can go ahead and use those classes in template form component now. We'll create a form. We'll do a form group. Inside of that, we'll have a label for name. In here, we're going to do an input. The type is going to be text. Class is form control, which is a bootstrap class to give it a little bit of styling. Name is name, and this is going to be required. Nothing fancy there. That's all HTML. We'll copy that. Let's grab their username as well. And finally, let's do a form group, and inside of that, a button type is submit, and we'll do button dot button primary, and save will be the buttons action there. Since we're already using Bootstrap classes, we'll just leave the CSS of this component right here. We'll leave that blank for now, in case if we need anything in the future, we'll add it there. Now that we have our brand new component, we need to register it with our app module so that our Angular 2 application knows how to actually use it. We'll go into app module under here, import, and we called it template form component. We can leave off the .ts there and We'll add it to the declaration since that's where we're going to add directives and components. Now that we have that accessible in our application, we can show that form using the template form selector that we created here. We'll go into app component TS under the template. The app lives. Let's throw underneath there. We're going to do an h2 tag template form. And then under there, we'll do template form, which uses the new component that we just created. Save that, and then we can go look into our console. Everything gets updated. Go look into our browser, and our new template form is showing in our application. 
Let's clean this up a little bit more. We don't really need to see this every single time. We'll delete that. And now we have template form and our new template form. So that will be the basis for our template driven forms. We'll do the exact same technique for when we go to model driven forms. We'll just create a new component and then display it in the overall app component. For now, let's move ahead and start working with our template driven forms.